I need a coach's opinion on this. Can you break me down? Break me down as a sports anchor and reporter here. How am I doing, coach? I need, you know, a coach's breakdown. Yeah, you know, you're okay. You could dress a little nicer, probably. You know, you could. You're trying to do too much. You got. You could use a. You could use a cameraman, so that you can just let your, let your abilities flow. But for the most part, you're looking good and doing a good job. God. Stamp of approval, from Coach. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That is a pretty good scouting report. I got to admit, I think he just wanted to see you in a tie, like today. <laughs> he, he, he did, yeah. And as you can tell, I am taking Coach Tedford's advice to heart, and I'm wearing the suit today. And message to our, our news director, Lisa. I could use a cameraman. Yeah, I could use a cameraman. <laughs> it is tough. All right. All right, time now for our play of the week. We head to Utah for the basketball tournament where Fresno State's all-time leading scorer Marvell Harris put on a show in his first game. He had a game-high 28 points. In their second game, he finished with a team-high 22 points off the bench. He had some nifty shots out there. Harris has played on Team ALS over the last few years. Whoever wins that tournament takes home $2 million. But unfortunately, last night his team was eliminated after losing by just one point in the regional championship. And our tweet of the week goes to Fresno State's athletic director, Terry Toomey. He tweeted out this video of the new turf saying, quote, it's starting to come together. Can't wait to see everyone at Bulldog Stadium. And don't think we've forgotten our checkerboard. That is Fresno State tradition. It's looking good out there. We'll be right back. <laughs>